Ever wonder if you could insert a watermark into a Google Doc? Maybe you want to say that it's a draft or you want to put something personal? Let me show you how. First, you're going to need a Google Drawing. In this case, I wanted to make my watermark for Decatur County Schools. So I went ahead and made the size of the page of the watermark to be the same size as a page of a Google Doc. I went down to Page Setup and I went to Custom in this drop down and changed it to 8 by 11 inches. You can even go so far as to say 8.5 by 11 inches to make it exactly correct. And I applied it. Then I put my logo right here in the space for um, the center of this document. Now I wanted it to be very faded and it was dark before, so I went to Format and I went to Format Options. And over here, I want to recolor and shows this grayscale version that was at the bottom. And then I went to Adjustments, Transparency, and I turned the transparency way up because it started off like this. And I don't want it to be like that on my page. So I turned the transparency way up, just like so. Then I'm able to take this and I can download it. And if you wanted to indicate it was a draft, you might want to put the word draft over this as well. So that would be inserting from WordArt, the word draft. Go ahead and, you know, how usually it's on an angle. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on an angle across here like that. I don't want it to be this dark, however. So I'm going to go ahead and change that by customizing that color to be a gray scaled color and change the transparency to be very low. And then it will be harder to read the draft so it won't interfere with what's in the text. Anyway, once I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and download this file as a PNG so the background stays transparent. You'll see that that's downloading right down here. Perfect, we're ready to put that into our document. So I'm gonna go over here to my document that I want to make a draft. Here's my document, and I'm going to put this into the header. So I click up here at the top until the header opens up because I want it to go on every page of my document. And I'm going to insert from um, uploading from my computer that watermark draft logo. I'm going to open it up. There's my draft logo. See how it's weird and it's like pushed my um, header down? I don't want that. So I've got to go down to the bottom of where I've selected it, but I've got to go down to the bottom of where it's selected and I need to look at these options here. And I want this one where it goes behind text. So now you'll see this is behind the text right there of my page. And if I click off of it, it's gonna be on the back of the page as a watermark. And if I keep on typing on this, this is page, Two, it will show up as a watermark on page two. This is page three, it will show up there. So there's your watermark.